Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another 4K action figure review on the Transformers Studio Series, Transformers Bumblebee Movies Deluxe Class Off-Road Bumblebee. If you're trying to get your Transformers figures, you can do so at Megalopolis City of Collectibles, proud sponsor of the Shardimus Prime YouTube channel. They have an awesome rewards points program right over there and all kinds of Transformers goodies as well as all kinds of other figures. Check them out, link in the description below. And looking at the packaging right over here, you can see an image of Bumblebee right there. I like how the eyes look all lit up. Anyway, on the side, you can see Bumblebee again. And then on the back, you can see both modes. And then there he is again with the base. And then it says, Bumblebee uh, goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Blitzwing in a canyon-shaking battle. Very, very small text right over there. And you can see he transforms in 27 steps. And then on this side, you can see Bumblebee again. And then you get a sliver window on the top and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open and uh, you know, take a look at the display base thing that they have right over here for this. Oh, you get the action figure poo poo, which is just, you know, the warning stuff. So throw that away. And then you can see this actually looks kind of neat. I like this. I'm not going to keep it, you know, but still, I tried keeping these and it's just, yeah, it's just too much stuff to keep around for me. But I really like how this looks. You get the Los Angeles Hills over here, or the Grapevine, I guess. Is that where they shot it? I don't know. But that's what it looks like. And yeah, not looking too bad. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and you can see it says 57 Studio Series. Again, I don't like that they don't put the names on here. That's always been frustrating. I'd probably more, be more likely to keep these. And let's get Bumblebee in his Jeep mode out of here. And he fits right on there very well. That looks really cool. So I do like that. And what a great looking figure this is. And what a tiny figure it is as well. Let's go ahead and measure it out first because... Um, it's, it's a small Jeep mode, but it's appropriately small because, you know, it's, it's Bumblebee, man. So, uh, measuring out from the hood to that spare tire, uh, it's only four inches across, and I guess to the top of the windshield, you're looking at about two inches. And I don't have the Studio Series Volkswagen mode, um, or the Volkswagen figure in alt mode, but I do have Shatter right here, the... Oop, uh, this came apart right there. Oopsie, oopsie. Okay, but yeah, you can see how the Jeep Bumblebee is smaller than Shatter's car mode right there. And, you know, it's in scale, I think. I think this actually works as far as the scale that they have these Studio Series figures in. You know what I mean? So, it's small, but not terribly small to the point where it doesn't look like they're from the same series or anything. So, that's neat. And then, uh, just to show off the Masterpiece... Uh, Transformers Bumblebee Bumblebee movie figure next to this one. You can see those two side by side. Whole lot of yellow right over there. Ooh, would you guys want to see a masterpiece version of this? Ooh, I, I would kind of like to see that, but at the same time, it's a lot of Bumblebee figures, man. They're probably going to make it eventually, right? Are they going to? I don't know. But let's get a closer look at this Jeep mode, because there's a lot of good stuff to look at over here, and I really do like how we get some very good, consistent yellow throughout on this thing. I don't want to overexpose uh, my video, so I'm going to see if I can turn this down a little bit right over here so you can see the quality of plastic and everything a little bit better this is my biggest gripe with the figure so that's how much i like it this line right here and not being able to smoosh this exactly the way <sighs> see every time i try to push this in i do something wrong over here and something pops out down right over there i don't like that you could see the arms just hanging underneath but it's not that bad to me because it kind of blends in with the rest of the stuff underneath right over here you can see his stinger blaster right there and, yeah, the tires look pretty good. I like that. I like how the hood looks. You can get some nice translucent plastic right over here for the headlights. That's cool. Same thing with the windshield. And then you get the steering wheel right there that actually... Does it spin? No, it does not spin. It does move up and down a little bit, though. And you have the little seats right there. Little wrinkles on the edges of the seats. Nice detail right there. I like that. Just looking at the back. You get the spare tire. So, yeah, and then you get your uh, tools and stuff right there. And, you know, you get some feet hanging down and, you know, some robot stuff, but not too much robot stuff. And it rolls surprisingly very well. I mean, that's always important for me, you know, with, with these characters that could get into an alt mode that could drive around like this, you know, like this, like this. When they roll really well, that makes me happy. Now, I do have a little bit of a hover thing going on with the front left tire right there. That's a little irksome, but, you know, it's... That it's actually still, well, it was still spinning, I guess, until, yep, it's still spinning. So, all four wheels spinning, very good. All right, 
Uh, let's get to the transformation, shall we? All right, will you take us away? And you thought I was going to say let's, but no. All right, will you take us away? Bumblebee! Okay, that was an awful transformation sound, but, you know, you're only going to hear something like that in one place only. And that's right here on the Charm, 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 Charm Prime YouTube channel. All right, so... Let's go ahead and fold this down right here, and, oh, this wasn't tabbed, yeah, it's not supposed to tab, was that supposed to tab in? It, oh, that's, um, no, it's not, I thought I mistransformed or something, but, yeah. Oh, it kind of does tab in back here, I didn't realize that. Okay, I'm sorry, first off, this tabs in over there. I didn't have that totally tabbed in there, but it's supposed to do that. Okay, so I like to flip these down right there. Let's get a little further out so we don't get the motion sickness. And I'm going to flip this piece out right here. This is one of the last things you do when you put it into its alt mode. And then, yeah, it pooped. It pooped out the, the gun right there, the stinger. So I'm going to move that aside right over there. That just plugs in easily between the legs. Ooh, that's what she said. But, yeah, you just put that right there. I already separated this, so I'm not going to do it again. But, anyway, you can split the legs apart like that. And then you want to take this piece and separate the foot from the yellow part right over there that all connects so you could just pinch that apart and then pinch this apart right over here and then we could swing the foot down and oh I felt like I could yeah it'll just swing down it's on a dumbbell joint so you get a ball joint ball joint right there so you kind of have to like double hinge it away and then do 180 right there so I'll demonstrate again it's already picked apart. You kind of want to shift out and then move it down. So that's how that works. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to fold the seats down right here too. I love that gray-brown color that they have right here. It's not like a gunmetal color, but it's got like a gray-brown color. I like it. Anyway, you can move. You want it, This is on a double hinge. You're going to move this away and then swing the tire into this cavity behind the shin. And that will move into place. You get little tabs where this is going to squeeze in and then you can move this down right over here so now you have a leg do the same thing right over here flip this all the way around and then just flip the tire into that cavity and then this has a tiny little tab right there can you see it it's just, it's just right there and it goes into right there that one goes there and that one goes there <laughs> on solo all right anyway uh, we're going to go ahead and shimmy this hood off right here, which isn't too hard to do. And come on, shimmy off. I, I love saying it's not too... Okay, see, there it goes. See, told you. Told you it wasn't too hard to do. All right, there it goes, there it goes. And then flip this up right here. Flip that steering wheel up. He's got this little dangly culo thing. Again, double hinged, so it's going to fold in once and then fold in again like that. So stick down just like this. Let's get this on manual focus so it stops moving on you and clicking sounds and all that. And then I'm going to get these shoulders out of the way right over here. Okay, as I move this back, it allows me to kind of leave these at a 45 degree angle. And I can move the shoulders up and then I could rotate just 90 degrees towards me like that. This can flip down right here. You want to take the inside of this, see how that collapses together right there? That's just going to spread out like that. And then we're going to swing this in, and then these two pieces will come back. And then the head is tucked away over here. We're going to pick at this, flip this forward, flip the head down, and then try to connect everything right over here. So you can see how this whole, uh, you know, the, it's not a five mile per hour bumper, but, you know, the bumper right here is going to neatly go into this rectangular shape right here with the gray and yellow. Put that in there, and then drop the face down like that. And you can see that we're pretty much done. And actually, we are done. That's, yeah, that's it. Before I even knew it, we were finished with the transformation. And there we have Bumblebee, and it looks awesome. I love the figure. It's great. Nope, there goes a little tire piece. Didn't have that pegged in all the way. But wow, what a good-looking little figure, man. I really dig this a lot uh, for uh, some weapon storage. Uh, you can go ahead and clip this on to the back right over here. So you just want to find a spot. You can do it. Oop, 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 oop. Sorry. You just go like this. I thought I... I oh, no. Wrong way. I was trying to follow... I didn't actually notice that you could do this until just recently. So I'm just giving it a shot for the first time. Putting that right back there. It is in the instructions. The instructions are actually quite good. So you can see... Right here. 
so it shows you, you clip it right there on the back and that's pretty much yay i did it i did it sweet so you can do that or of course you can have him uh just you know holding stinger uh which we actually didn't see him use this while he was in jeep mode right didn't he just use the blade right here and he doesn't come with the blade so um I think I saw Chefatron do this, where you could take the one from the Volkswagen Bumblebee movie, and that will fit in nicely right over here. So if you want to just yeah, get rid of this guy, and sometimes it can be tricky to get out of his hand, you got to push from underneath. Uh, but yeah, you could do that if you want, so that's neat. And the yellow matches up okay, so pretty cool. I like that. wish it came with this instead of the Stinger, but hey, that's cool. But anyway, the figure looks awesome. Let's just get a closer look, and... Just discuss, shall we? So, ooh, there we go. A little overexposed, too. But, man, look at that silver on the face. Man, that is awesome. You get this nice little deco for the Autobot symbol. Uh, that did miss the mark. You could see that it didn't match that the shape for the Autobot symbol, but it's close. The eyes look really good. I like that a lot. I just like how this whole thing looks right here on the front of the figure. This grayish, you know, this brown-gray plastic color is really cool. I'm liking it a lot. I like the detailed sculpt that I'm seeing here too. So that's really good. Again, like these little parts right over here. That just looks great. like that quite a bit, man. Really good looking figure. I like the proportions of it and everything. All the little bits, like all the, all the little like gear and car part stuff or Jeep part stuff and all that on the inside of the legs. You can see it almost has that gun metal shimmer to it. So I really dig that a lot. I like how the colors are broken up right over here with the uh, with the shins. When it gets into focus, you'll appreciate it more. But yeah, there you go. So you can see it's not you know just one flat color or anything. It, it does change up a bit, and I like that a lot, especially with that gun middle. You know that looks really good. And I like how the feet came out and everything. Really neat looking figure, man. You're just looking at the back. It doesn't look like it's too messy or anything. You got a cool little port right over there. Usually a Figma stand or Amazing Yamaguchi stand fits in there. So, yeah. And I like how he doesn't have a backpack, you know. It's very, very shallow, thin backpack over here. So, very awesome. Good articulation as well. Uh, let me just move the camera up a little bit right over here. So, uh, excuse my sniffle. You can move the head up very far. And that's just due to transformation. Um, I didn't even, yeah. For some reason, I feel like you could pick this off right here, but you cannot. You turn the head side to side, and uh, you won't really look down so much. His chin does run into this plate piece right over here, and uh, no real head pivoting either. Uh, the shoulders move outward. They move down. You can rotate forward, rotate back, and then no butterfly joint or anything like that. He does have uh, more than 90-degree bend in at the elbow. He rotates at the elbow. No wrist articulation. You can turn the waist side to side that much. Hips move outward that far. He will kick forward all the way and back, and you get a ball joint. Or, oh, yeah, you get a full thigh swivel right over there. And, ooh, this came out on me again. I'm not liking that. Uh, double jointed knee. That does bend in more than 90. So I dig that. I just like how this is broken up right over here. That just looks really good. And then no knee swivel or anything. And then the ankle turns side to side. You can move it, uh, not really down so much, but up a little bit. And it does have great ankle pivot. Really good ankle pivot over there. So very happy with that. Let's just get a couple of comparisons. And then I'll get out of here and get back to work on my Black Widow review. So stay tuned for that. That video uh, will be coming your way shortly. Like today, that shortly. And, um... Yeah, so, speaking of Marvel Legends, thanks for all the positive feedback on the Glenn Webb-inspired Marvel Legends Evolution video. I really appreciate it, you guys. You guys are very, very kind. Uh, it was very nerve-wracking making that video, and uh, it was cool to get a, a mostly very positive response, so I'm very grateful for that. Alright, let's go ahead and measure out this figure. You can see that it stands at about four and a half inches tall, so very short, and then compared to the Volkswagen version right here, uh, from the Bumblebee movie studio series. Uh, this figure is so wonky, man. It's just so hard to get him to stand, even though I still like it. But I definitely like this off-road version a lot more. Uh, and it's bigger as far as mass goes. Like, you can see the head is larger on the on this Jeep version compared to the Volkswagen version right there. I mean, you'd expect to see some differences, so I'm not totally surprised 
you know, about that. I don't expect their heads to be the exact same, but still, you know, they're about the same size, and that's good. I like that they're about the same size. And last, oh wait, and then we have uh, Age of Extinction Bumblebee. So this is before our <laughs> studio series and all the figures had to get shrunk down. So I just wanted, you know, another deluxe figure right over there. <laughs> deluxe, 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 deluxe. Uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> you have a Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man right here left in a pose from the last time I did an animation segment with this guy. So there you go. You can see how tiny Bumblebee is next to Big Time Badass. So there you have it, man. Let's get him into a final pose. I'm going to give him the stinger right over here, or the blade anyway. It, it's kind of funny because this is not the stinger. The stinger is the blasting thing, but this looks more like a stinger, right? All right, that's cool. Whoosh, slash and all right get that blitzwing right there Woo! all right that's probably gonna be my thumbnail pose maybe we'll see but uh i, I don't feel comfortable making that thumbnail pose because he doesn't come with that blade but anyway man that's the figure i highly recommend it if especially if you love the bumblebee movie i love the bumblebee movie i have another bumblebee figure that i'll be reviewing later this week so stay tuned for that and man this thing is incredible um i'm gonna give it a sud rating of awesome because it's really everything i wanted in an off-road bumblebee really i mean yeah it's not a masterpiece figure but Dude, it like for a deluxe class figure. Okay, I gotta take it down a peg. I'm sorry. I love it. It's this thing right over here. Yeah, it should have this instead of the gun thing. So okay, gets knocked down to I love it. So there you go. Alright, you guys. 16 minutes and 35 seconds in. My apologies for such a long video, but I really like the figure a lot. Really enjoyed talking about it. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!